This week on PAQ, we're scoping out some of the UK's best and biggest movement makers. And culture shakers. We are looking at the people that have literally poured their hearts into what they love. We're going to be visiting some of our favourite emerging designers in the city we call home. Us man work with fresh talent bare in episodes, but for this one, we thought we'd give them their whole own episode for you guys to see the undoubtedly amazing talents. <laughs> So satisfying. <laughs> Let's get into it. Woo! So the upcoming designer I'm going to be linking up with is Robin Lynch. Hi guys, I'm Robin Lynch. I'm an Irish menswear designer based over in London. Our specialty, I think, will be like incorporating traditional Irish iron knit with like nylon and slicing it together with like sportswear. From seeing her in the fashion e show where they debut upcoming designers, I now get to work with her for this episode. So I'm super excited about this. So I'm about to go and meet Luke Derrick. Luke is brilliant. His forte lies in tailoring. He's interned at McQueen and Savile Row. He's going to be a CSM doing his MA. I've known about Luke for a long time, and now it's going to be mint to try and work with him. Today, I'm going to be linking up with a guy called Sol Nash. He's a very, very talented up-and-coming designer. He works very closely with fashionistas. The reason why he actually makes clothes the way he does is because it revolves around dancing. What I think is very sick, you know, the way he uses the fabrics, the textures. Of course, I'm using another good friend of mine, one that I've actually not used in a PAQ episode before, talking none other than Eastwood Dancer. My name is Eastwood Dancer, 21, I study, I design. I'm looking at his brand new collection. I'm gonna be pulling a look from there. I know it's gonna be fire, I know it's gonna be sick. I'm just gonna be getting a head to toe Eastwood Dancer look. Let's get into it. How did you even start fashion? I used to make like Halloween costumes for okay. all of my friends. Oh, like really? we'd get the tutus and oh, make the most obvious out like, you know, <laughs> just started doing weekend courses and then just like whacked together this portfolio and then came over with it and got an interview Amazing. for Westminster and then finished my masters and then got fashion east and then had to make a collection in like ten weeks. How did it come about? Um I was a kid leaving school kind of now I kind of liked art and stuff. Whereas like for fashion it's kind of funny because I'm like, I like this, this and this and this and this. And I was like, okay, well you can use all of those things. Yeah. I grew up in London. I studied dance when I was in school, but then I ended up going to art school. So I didn't stop dancing. I was just okay. mixing uh, set design and costume with, um, with, dance. with dance. Then I realised I wanted to be a menswear designer. The journey started there. Because you know how I started off is I just kept harassing Ace until he responded and he responded. You know, didn't hear back for a while. I think I was a bit annoying, kind of pestering him. Yeah. But then one day he was like, yeah, come through, help me. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Don't be afraid That's that a big you fact. might not get a response. This collection was based off like Mosny, so it's Butland. So it would have been where my parents went on holidays before there was Ryanair and stuff. But I got connected onto this Facebook group, okay? Mm. And it was just absolute randomers who worked there for a season. So they all found each other and they all uploaded all their photographs. But it was all these bright colors. Like I'll get obsessed with like Nick K for a bit. And then yeah. like that will end up appearing in like a kind of a, a very kind of slinky long suit like that. And then I'll kind of drop everything and then get really into double denim and that will kind of come out here. <laughs> yeah. So what's the what's the inspo behind like the, the pattern? Just walking around London, you really and truly see like building, council estates. It's about how the material performs, the elasticity of it. So then there's the fine line between style and kind of creating garments that I know these men want to wear but then they have the functionality or the performance to accommodate how they wear it. Okay. That's, yeah, that's the one thing we really need to talk about. I feel like the sunglasses is like one of the main reasons that, you know, just took me. Whatever I choose, these are definitely in the outfit. So this is the opening look from my BA graduate collection. David Bowie Life on Mart meets like The Office. Got this antique cotton shirt here and then the jacket is matched to line with it. The idea is that from the back you kind of wouldn't know that he hadn't done it up so it's kind of all very tight. The whole collection kind of plays with like perfection, imperfection. This is my my favourite pair of trousers. From the front, the silhouette is like a track pant. I think this is from the back. Old. 
then you got yeah. the mesh. And then you can see your leg inside. You know what, I feel like a lot of designers don't shine lies on the people that make the clothes. I work with this woman, Yasui and Yumi, mother and daughter team, like they're so great. Bro, she's just a genius. I'll show you. This piece was made in-house. Vintage Levi denim with a nylon. This is like, yo, my favorite piece. She really brought the vision to life. So these are like a slack mix. So it was like the guys going out to the to getting his fancy gear on when he goes to the disco at the night time. Oh, what a look. This is already great. Blue is my favorite color. I can't lie, this blue is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of in between, right? Back. If you open that out and then you spin, yeah. a lot of air fills up into the garment. And then all the garments are kind of cut for movement itself. It's kind of draped to yeah, accommodate. I like that. Or when the body moves. So that's where a lot of the silhouettes come from. This is antique uh, beadwork that was made, I think, in like the 30s. They painstakingly hand sewed each row of that to each row of it. It was a disgusting amount of work, but it's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. I think it's pretty damn good for it, if I may say so myself. This is my favorite look. How am I feeling? Mint. <laughs> The logo on the side. Oh, you've got the yeah, little cover. Like, okay. Yeah, so it's like a E yeah. and then a B. Oh, that's cold. The colour from this is from my old school uniform. And then we have like this jacket, which is just like a light layer jacket li lined with um, mesh. It's bent off fabric, so it's like 100% completely waterproof, weatherproof, and it's cotton. And it's made in the UK. So it's like the only cotton that's waterproof. I love that look. It had the denim, it had the knit, it had the jacket that had the material wear. Water literally repels from it. <gasps> <laughs> So satisfying. <laughs> like, wow, this look actually could be a contender. I can't lie, this is so hard. We have evening pleats that elongate. This isn't actually a scarf, it's two pieces. You are enjoying it very well. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah, it's brilliant. And then this one I made with Salomon Deadstock. So it was like tights. And then I kind of used their knitwear. This is sick. I'm very excited for him, man. Um, I think he's a good designer. I think he's very talented. I think he brings something different to the table, so. This one, it's got the removable grip so We could put this on any shoe you want. Also, it's just removable. Wow, that's crazy. Do you know what, though? This is a casual look, but it's still like a wow look. The colour's super toned down, but the cuts and the material and everything together yeah. just looks great. The knit jumper looked amazing. The cut of the track pants, incredible. They also felt really good. Seeing this being like the loose cannon, I was a bit like, <laughs> well, it kind of half narrows it down a little bit. But then if I'm trying it on, I'm like, you know what? Maybe even this, this could like take it a completely different way. From the cuts to the little details, it is perfection. To have someone such as you absolutely fit every single thing immaculately, I mean, I don't think I could ask much more than that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Honestly, man, um, you should be very proud of yourself, bro. This is this is sick, man. I made. I'm gonna make the fridge. So cool. You can go next to Reggie Snow. There we go. I made the <laughs> fridge. Gang settings. There we go. And you're not even graduated yet, bro. You're doing your thing, fam. Trying, bro. Trying. But he always looks sad, bro. Like this guy is always moving like Eeyore, bro. With that being said, thank you, my brother. Man, like Eastwood dancer. Shaka be bad, man. We are out. So welcome Yolo to the studio, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Hi, I'm Yolo, I am the director of High Fashion Talk. Are you excited about today? Yeah, I'm looking forward to see what designers you worked with. The guys have got really good tastes and they're quite connected with loads of designers in London. Any guesses of who you might have used? I've heard a whisper that Sol Nash. Oh, Sol Nash is sick, that's my guy. Whoever you Sol Nash, props to, props to them. Is that you? Jeez. I don't know, <laughs> is that you? No. So, let's see what Danny's got. I think. Toro, Toro. 
It was like a bullfighter. Loki creased when Shaq said about Danny looking like a matador. I spent a lot of money on this jacket, so I'm gonna wear the hood up like this. So this is Luke Derrick. Unfortunately, the shoes are my only shoes. It kind of half doesn't count because Luke doesn't make shoes anyway. Luke is the one who did the suit that Scott pulled for me. This is actually just literally straight off the peg. Nothing was tailored to me. I just happened to fit it perfectly. But that was a fit, for real. But Luke absolutely smashed it. He set a strong start. Obviously, double denim, but it's not. It's actually the same material as a suit, and I'm sorry, Luke, I can't remember the actual material name. The material is actually sponsored by Alexander McQueen as well. This is so like light, airy, feels incredible, fits beautifully. I've never really seen anything like this before, where it's so simple and elegant, yet really rock and roll and cool. Hope you all enjoy. This guy really like tailors to your silhouette, and I could imagine you wearing pieces of these individually. The top half is amazing, because it generally does look like there is not even a millimeter room left. It's just yeah. flush, it's that crazy. I love the stitching, I love the pleats as well, and I like how it fits you very, very, very well. It's a very you fit. Danny's body and tailor would just go hand in hand, like hands in a glove. I think that's how the saying goes. What I noticed was the fabric's cut on the bias. So if you look yes. at the grain, it's cut. The lines go across. Snug as a bug in a rug, no? Yeah. Snug as a bug in a rug. There's a bug in a rug. Hey, that sounds like a that sounds like a trap tune. I like how it's kind of like deconstructed as well. That's kind of like a buzzword at the moment. Snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what you've got next. So you did. That's so Nash. Oh. <laughs> this is so Nash. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Dexter is stuck to what's true to him, which was all black, in case you guys don't know. This is his first major collection. I actually got sold to oh boy, no. Tokyo. <laughs> and I know you guys are probably thinking, why is he speaking like that? There you go. My guy is Sufian. Sufian? <laughs> Sharp. That's what happens when you eat a burrito with a wrapper still on. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to Saul Nash, his clothes, I know he goes around dance. That's why he uses very light fabrics. Having a history of dance myself, I thought, yo, that's something I can relate with. Also, it's breathable, so all of these zips you see around. So breathable. Sick. I really liked it. It wasn't like my entire cup of tea. I thought the trousers were a bit bizarre. The trousers that just threw me off. Kind of like the trousers throw me off a bit. But you've got to think about it like this, yeah? If it's made for dance, but you've got to imagine what those trousers look like in movement time. That's what creates a silhouette. <laughs> I really like how it's sort of customizable and it's because it's elastic as well, it's not going to be sort of tight on the body or it's going to be reactive to your body, which is what you want. I like how soul stuff always changes silhouettes and it's always about movement and it's always complementary to movement. From that personal aspect, I thought that was really good. Yeah, let's see what you've got out of this. Hello. I didn't see the top off. <laughs> you know what? I loved Elias's. When I was at Fashion East, I saw this designer called Robin Lynch. Her work is amazing, and I saw this go down the runway. She's actually from Ireland, but is now based in London. And she basically infuses, obviously, her heritage with her clothes. So it's all a lot of knitwear, obviously, from in Ireland. This collection was actually referenced from Butlins, which is quite jokes. Uh, which is obviously another reason why I've got goggle sunglasses on as well, which is obviously referencing the 
whole, like, you know, all the kids splashing in the pools with their goggles that are too tight for their face. They are such a bizarre shit, but El got it off loads. I loved it. Obviously, I love tracksuits, but also I'm really into knitwear. But having both of them together is just amazing. The color is obviously incredible. It's on the perfect blend of like a cable knit and a tracksuit. It's like a mixture of me and you together. I think this, like the sunglasses, especially because you're such a sunglasses person from now on, I've just got to call you goggles. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like uh, I like El's fit, but it's just I don't know. It's just not for me. I think creatively it's cool, I like the color, but I just feel like it's just not my style. It's really nostalgic. That's kind of like Stranger Things, but British is what I kind of like imagine. The bag would have probably finished it off. I'm very happy, except from the bag not being here. Can I understand why some people might not get it? <laughs> I do look like a Power Ranger and I love it. <laughs> Let's see what shaq has got. Before I go, this tracksuit is made by my boy Ime. His brand is Jehu Cow. Make sure you follow the brand, it is amazing. This tracksuit is fire. I'm gonna go get changed now. <laughs> Do I come out now? Your rugger wits. <laughs> it is my look. Shaq came out in Eastwood Dancer and also brought everything that Eastwood's ever made ever in the history of ever with him. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, I actually forgot something. <laughs> He's gonna fart. He's gonna fart. My look is done by my boy and amazing designer Eastwood Dancer who designs literally so many things. Hence why the carpet is out here. This is also his. So going from the shoes up, so what I've got on right now are some Converse's. Eastwood works very closely with Converse. They have a very good relationship. He hand painted them himself and he added this these sick like bathroom swords you can pretty much attach to like so many different things. This sick suit, which is like a combination of nylon and uh, like jersey material, which is super cool. The trousers were made so it kind of has like that stacked look. So it's nice and baggy, which is exactly what I love. And then the blazer literally matches the exact same way. And I know what you're thinking. If you don't like the jersey, I wish I could take it off. Well, you can. You can have it plain or whatever. Take this off, keep it on, whatever. And there you go, you've got two different blazers. I've also wearing his t-shirt as well, which is the sick screen print t-shirt, but it's also got like hand wax on it. All the jewelry that I'm wearing, is joined by Eastwood as well. We got the bag, which is super sick. I'm also in Eastwood socks. I like Eastwood. I've seen his stuff before, to be honest. His stuff is hard, man. The techniques are really cool, but it's not my style. But I appreciate how vast his like creative juices flow. But I love the silhouette of the pants. I like the fact that you've got like the strings dangling as well. The blazer, the fact that you can do so much more with it as well. It's cold. In fact, it's all black. Come on. The suit is actually amazing. I think it's phenomenal. I love it. I actually do really like the shoes as well. That was something that I would love to wear at an award show. 100%. I would definitely rock that. I really like the concept of this jacket. Trousers, I really like the kind of like cut off, but it's still in the same colour, so you still get that like continuous line. I think I'm going to need a minute to think about who's going to win. Yeah, it's so hard. It's, it's, they're so close, but they're so different as well. It's hard to compare them to each other. I think I'm gonna have to go with... Danny. <laughs> Yola, see you very soon. Thank you very much for coming down. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Take care. <laughs>